Good morning, Facebook world. Happy Wednesday. We're here today with Father Eugene again. And we're at a different spot today. We're over at uh, Hendrickson Park, Valley Stream Park. And uh, we got the beautiful lake in the background. We'll give you a little view here. All right, so this is the, uh, the lake here. That's the pool up there, the public pool. And then uh, beautiful lake, look at the reflections. I had a little talk the other day on actually a little post about reflections life reflects what you put out there if we reflect good good is reflected back just like the water if we put out negative negative is reflected back just like the water so we're going to switch back over here a little bit and uh, let's see, today's message. So today's message is the power of self-talk. If you think you can do something, you can. If you think you can't do something, you can. So if you tell yourself that you can't do it, you're already lost and you never will be able to do that. If you tell yourself you can, that power of positivity, that power of positive thought will allow you to do that. A lot of people talk themselves out of stuff before they even try. Uh, the term making mountains out of molehills uh, a lot of people make a big deal out of something a big deal out of a task big deal out of an action big deal out of going somewhere that really is no big deal um, making mountains out of molehills so you need to talk to yourself and say hey self we can do this let's go um, kind of like we ride at dawn every morning i say self father eugene's gonna be outside get out of bed let's go and uh we get going so we, we talk positive into ourselves and we can do anything. The, the cool thing about the world is that if someone else can do it, you can do it. We're all put here on earth. We all have the same abilities. Well, we have different abilities in different ways, different blessings. But um, we must use our abilities. We must talk positive to ourselves. We must believe in ourselves. And we must support ourselves and not talk us out of stuff. Um, so that's the message for today. You are what you talk yourself into. So talk yourself into good things. Talk yourself into making positive actions. Don't down talk yourself. You know, make sure that your message in your mind is that you can do it. And uh, who else is on here? Oh, we got Benny on here. We got Josh. Oh, what's up, brother? How you doing? So the power of positive talk to yourself. Very, very powerful. Very powerful. All right. So uh, since we're here, we'll get the uh, prayer going. Father Eugene, uh, we just kind of had a little fun experience, a uh, sad experience, fun experience. So I keep running across my mother-in-law in my travels in the morning. She's a runner. Yeah. <laughs> and she was out with her running club. And uh, she happened to be here in Valley Stream Park. We found her down in uh, Hewlett uh, last week. And um, we kind of stumbled on her and her friends having a prayer circle. Sure. Um, which was kind of neat. Um, kind of sad in a way, though, because they were praying for their friend Liz, who has stomach cancer. So um, cancer is a bad thing. It's, uh, it's, it's hurting a lot of people. Um, but so she's going for surgery on Friday. So uh, we're saying a special prayer for uh, Liz, friend of my mother-in-law's, and um, you know, think about her Friday stomach surgery. They're removing her stomach, so uh, not great stuff. But um, but we stumbled onto their prayer circle. It's amazing how <clears throat> God aligns us. We just happened to be riding up as they were saying prayers, and we got to join them. So uh, so when, with that said, uh, let's say our prayers for the morning. Sure. Brian, I share your thoughts about uh, the power of positive thinking. And I will add that uh, every great accomplishment begins by starting it. Moving out immediately. Once you put a step there, you're already on the way. So uh, just start. Yep. Yeah, just start. Yeah. Just yep. leave early morning. Morning, decide on it, move on, and then you're already there. So we thank God for this opportunity of another new day. And then also, like uh, we uh, pray every morning, we remember everyone that is dear to us, everyone in need out there, and every other person that also that has the need of God in his or her life. As we pray, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your way be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. Amen. And Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, you are the source of all we are and all we have, and that's why we return all glory to you this morning bringing you also our needs, our aspirations, our day, and all our activities. And we ask you to bless everyone out there today, your protection over all of us, and that you may continually inspire us, that you will also enable us to accomplish all we have also planned, and most importantly, that we may continually give a helping hand and be dear for one another. We ask you to also bless our doctors and nurses and our caregivers, all scientists and all teachers, our students, our parents, grandparents. We pray in a special way for Liz and then that as she goes for her surgery that you will grant her a successful surgery and a great healing. And so we pray also for all the sick, the homebound and all those in need of our prayers. We ask God to bless us today, bless us as we go out today and come back. Bless also everyone there who also needs our prayers. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, you, Father. Sir. It's always a pleasure to uh, spend the morning with you yeah. out here in nature. <laughs> Again, we're back. Uh, this is uh, Hendrickson Park over in Valley Stream. Yeah. Right by uh, Valley Beautiful Stream State one. Park. Yeah. Uh, there's Kevin Brady up here. Okay. There's Benny. Yep, yeah. Oh, Leela. Got some new friends on here this morning. There's some yeah. new faces. There's some oh, new yeah. faces. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. People so. are out doing the exercises, running and walking. Great morning. So. Great do. morning, great morning. Yeah. <laughs> great morning. Beautiful, uh, beautiful weather, beautiful temperature. And uh, we're out here enjoying life. Oh, oh, there's Dawn popped up. Dawn, happy birthday again. <laughs> Hope you had a great birthday. And uh, again, we're over here at Hendrickson Park doing our We Ride at Dawn 6 a.m. Every morning we leave from the corner of Malvern and uh, Malvern Avenue, Cornwall Avenue, Scarcliff area, that intersection. Um, 6 a.m. every morning we ride out. And you can catch me live here around 6.30 weekdays and around 7 on the weekend when we do our 20-mile run. Today we'll do a 10-mile uh, ride. And uh, today we are sponsored by the Broadway Tavern, which is our family establishment in Malvern on Broadway uh, at the intersection of Franklin. And it will plug some real estate. Anyone want to buy a house? I do that too, as you know. Uh, happy to help you uh, buy or sell a house. We got a new listing. Uh, it's coming out Thursday, open house Saturday, 17 North Cambridge, 549, three bedroom, one and a half bath, uh, low taxes, dead end street. So uh, if you're looking to buy a house in Malvern, open house Saturday, 11 to one, contact me. I'll get you in. We'll get you a nice house on a dead end block. So that is happening this weekend. So uh, lots of other stuff going on. How's it going to the contract? Um, get accepted offers out in Glenhead. A lot, a lot of stuff moving on, but uh, I like to concentrate more on life and uh, spend the time with you guys every morning. Uh, that's kind of become my passion. So we're having fun with this. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you guys are enjoying, please throw a like or a love or a comment or whatever. Let us know uh, what you want to hear. Is there anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to share? Uh, share some wins. Share some good stuff on, uh, on the links below, on the uh, messages below. Let me know uh, what's going on in your life. If you need anyone, to, uh, if you want us to pray for anyone in your life. Uh, let me know. Let me know what's going on down there, out in uh, Facebook land. Uh, all right. So yeah, throw a like, throw a love, throw whatever you want to throw out there. And again, feel free to post down there anything uh, if you want us to pray for anyone, anything going on in your life. I like to hear people's wins. If you got something going on in your life, let's hear the good stuff. You want to talk about Kevin Brady? I like to talk about Kevin Brady. Still waiting for that shirt. I took a picture of the firehouse. I figured maybe I can get a fire department shirt from Kevin. You know, he won't give me a DPW shirt. But uh, all right, everyone. 
I'm not gonna take up any more of your time. We're gonna go enjoy this view. We got a couple more miles to put in and then we're uh, heading back home to uh, head out to work and um, get on with our day. So everyone, be good, be blessed. Bless. Positive thoughts, positive talk yeah. to yourself. Go out and get it. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great day. God bless you all. That's it. Be good.